what we wanted to do is tell you a little bit about um, what makes Shackley 180 so effective and, uh, and tell you a little bit about, um, about the Shackley science, the Shackley difference behind it, and specifically, we want to tell you a little bit about how Shackley chose the sweeteners that they have for this particular product line, the Shackley 180 and the, uh, the smoothies. Um, the Shackley 180 turnaround kit, just by way of a little review, includes all of these things, a smoothie mix, a meal in a bar, snack bars, energy tea mix, metabolic boost, free web support, and people can even earn their, their entire kit free when they refer three friends. Um, and so what Steve had done is he prepared some slides here, which I was hoping he'd show up for, to tell us a little bit about the science behind the turnaround plan and why it is so effective. And he, uh, was, he was mentioning the research that was done on leucine, and you, you may have seen that in this Hello? little... Oh, Steve! There he is. Welcome, okay. Welcome Steve. Finally. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Professor, I've got your slide up. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, <laughs> I'll step in here then. Uh, you know, the, the whole 180 turnaround plan is, is based on these groundbreaking studies by Dr. Lehman, University of Illinois, so just down the road from you, Barb. Yeah. Uh, four published clinical studies, actually five now, over 250 participants, some of the studies up to a year in length, so it's not just short-term studies. And, and what he and his colleagues have found there's a high-protein diet, one that's moderate in healthy carbohydrates, moderate in healthy fats, and high in protein, and has that extra leucine, provides 10 to 12 grams of leucine. So you might say, what is leucine? Well, leucine is an essential amino acid. It's one of the branched-chain amino acids, and, you know, if you're an athlete, you've probably heard about branched-chain amino acids and the effect they have on increasing muscle mass. Well, leucine is actually the branch chain amino acid that does all the heavy lifting because it's the only amino acid that specifically stimulates muscle cells to make more protein. And that's what gives the muscle cells their strength and their bulk. So when you put, so what Dr. Lehman and his colleagues showed is that this program, this high protein diet with the added leucine preserved your muscle mass when you lose weight. And that's extremely important because muscle burns off 50 calories per pound of muscle, fat burns them easily too. So you can preserve your muscle mass, you can keep your metabolic rate high. And what Shackley did is to take, is to, the, really the, the underpinning of the diet is the meal replacement products, the 180 smoothie mix, the meal in a bar. Uh, this is, these are high protein, uh, high leucine, so th th what these do is they assure that you meet your protein and leucine targets. Now, you get some protein and leucine from the snack bars. You get some of them from the foods you eat, but these provide a really good part of that protein and leucine, and so they're absolutely invaluable to the program to make sure you stay on that target and preserve your muscle mass. And you know, like anything that Jackley makes, you're not going to find any artificial junk in there. No artificial I, colors, flavors, or sweeteners. Yes, go ahead. And I was just going to mention, I, I just got a... Um a note today from Marianne will share, and um, I'll 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 put these up one of these days on one of our um, presentations. But um, Marianne, it, just to prove what you are saying in real life, how it turns out, she had been when I met her on Weight Watchers, she had lost 28 pounds on Weight Watchers over a year's time, but had only gone down one dress size, and she started on these shakes and smoothies. Um, for just a healthy breakfast and began using Shackley products and even though she wasn't planning to be on a diet anymore, she'd already lost 28 pounds, she proceeded to go down three more dress sizes and that's what, that's why people love this. It's In this program, the, the uh, Shackley 180 program, it's not just about the weight and that's why hopping on a scale all the time isn't really helpful, I think, because it's it's much more about losing the fat. That's really... Barb, you know, I can give you another great example. There was a gal that sat at the same table that we were at at your meeting in Chicago, mm -hmm. and uh, she told she shared her story with us. She had been on the Vaisalis program uh, for 12 weeks, lost 12 pounds, but as uh, 
uh, because she was a because she was a health coach, she actually measured her percent body fat before and after. So when she started the program, she was 30 percent body fat. After she finished the program, lost her 12 pounds, she was 40 percent body fat, oh, okay. which means that oh, no. she lost muscle, not fat. Oh gosh. Yeah. See, that's that's discouraging, and that's that's the stuff that's not going to stay off. So. That's how it. That, that's why this is this is such a wonderful program, and people do so well on it. And the leucine that Steve just talked about is not only in those smoothies and the meal replacement bars; it's also in snack bars that have ten grams of protein in them, and comes in great flavor: chocolate, decadence, lemon, cranberry, peanut butter crunch. But three grams of fiber, and that all of that is important because you see. Um, I love it that I've, I've got a picture, Gary, coming up of um, Merle Gurnan, and when um, when we had talked to her about how she lost weight on this program, she said, you must never let yourself get hungry. And the reason that you don't get hungry on it is because of the protein and the fiber that stabilizes your blood sugar so you don't get that those plummets in your blood sugar that makes you start diving for cookies or something. Non-genetically modified soy, very, very important. Uh, only 120 calories in those snack bars and uh, low glycemic. Um, then they have uh, an energy tea. And you, you know, each of these products are a part of the Shackley 180 kit. So there's a turnaround kit that's a two meal replacement and there's a uh, lean and healthy kit that's a one meal a day replacement. But all of these products can be purchased separately and most of us would not go a day without using the energy tea because it is made from uh, green matcha tea and red tea and white tea and they have amazing health benefits. And I just just listed a bunch here about um, just some of the, the things that have they, they've been shown to do is anti-carcinogenic. Um, they're very important for the immune system. They reduce inflammation. They help to detoxify. Taurine, uh, which is one of the ingredients in, in the energy tea, provides detoxifying properties. It also is an antioxidant. But look at this one. It causes fat to be more soluble by increasing the production of bile in the liver. That's how it all works. But it makes fat be more soluble. That's like a good thing. It's good for your brain, good for your blood pressure. And then there's like two pages of, of benefits from green tea, including it increases your metabolism and it has ingredients that cause body fat reduction. It alkalizes the body. It protects the, the cardiovascular system. It helps with the blood pressure. It's good for your brain, good for your kidneys, and then all this stuff. So it's just, I just wanted to show you that because this is a very healthy tea. And many of us, for you, many people get kind of a slumpy time mid-afternoon. And so this is a great product to have. I, I like it. I have it every morning for my morning tea after I have my smoothie, and it it just it makes you feel good, but it's doing really wonderful, beneficial things for your body. And then our newest addition to this line are these crunchy, wonderful snack crisps. Try to say that three times fast. And look, 100 calories, 6 grams of protein in there. Non-genetically modified soy, again, very important, low glycemic, and they're crunchy, and they're gluten-free, and they have no artificial stuff in them, and they're wonderful. So instead of reaching for chippy, snacky, salty stuff, stay away from the wheat and use this when you need that, and, it, and they're really good. They're almost, um, they remind me a little bit of a, um, of a bagel chip, and you could use them with hummus or something like that also. They're, they're very good. Okay, Steve, you do Metabolic Boost. Okay, well, the metabolic boost, again, is, you know, when we cut our calories significantly, we're going to have a little bit of a decrease in metabolic rate, even if we, um, you know, even if we do keep our muscle mass. So you want to boost your metabolic rate just a little bit. Now, fortunately, because we're preserving muscle mass, you don't have to go to those dangerous herbs and stimulants that you'll find at some other program. What this does is uses a catechin from green tea, a natural product that's found in green tea. It's just a little bit more than you have in the energizing tea, um, but what it does is it increases your metabolism around 30%. And then you've also got the chromium and vanadium and non-belief extract that help you keep your blood sugar levels constant. 
You know, and what that does is it helps prevent the food cravings and, and those sorts of things. It makes it much easier to stick on the diet. So um, a great product, a great part of the program. Okay, good. Oh, why? Uh, <laughs> I just got to do it fast. <laughs> okay, and then... Um, and then for those of you who are new, I just wanted to review that there has been a basic philosophy that has pervaded Shackley Science and Shackley products for 56 some years now. And that is number one, they're always safe. Um, we can tell you story after story if we had the time now about how many times Shackley has chosen to um, to uh, put a put a product on back order because there is an ingredient one ingredient in that product that got rejected because it didn't meet their standards. Um, there was a time when uh, I remember back um, maybe 10 15 years ago when ginseng was a very popular herbal product still is but at that time I think it was the number four in the top. Uh, popularity with herbal products and there had been flooding in China that year ginseng is a root and um, there was no ginseng coming out of China that um, didn't have a problem with fungus growing on it from all of the flooding and so all of it was being sprayed by a very toxic fungicide called quintazine and Shackley has these very very rigid restrictions for its suppliers. They have dossiers that they have to fill out um, for uh, every batch of raw material that they submit. And they are not permitted to have any pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, any, any kind of contaminants. And even then, Shackley tests products again for potency before they ever even uh, come into the manufacturing facility. And um, when Shackley tested the this uh, ginseng even though um, it was a the, the, the supplier had had sworn that it was gonna it was safe and so on they found traces of the quintazine and they went back to the supplier and the supplier said oh it's not a problem because there's no ginseng coming out of China that isn't sprayed with this but it's it's still below the government um, standards of what they say is safe and Shackley said, it is not it is not acceptable for our standards however and they discontinued ginseng for gosh I'm thinking Steve it was at least a year or two before and they completely reformulated it with a standardized extract until they could get clean product and we tell you that it was the next growing season yeah and and we tell you that story because it's you know it's easy to say it's always safe but it's how it shows up in the specifics that's important and always works there we have so many wonderful clinical studies that we can tell you about including the the, the major landmark study that was done with um, long by a, a wonderful renowned epidemiologist out of um, U University of California at Berkeley um, and she had all kinds of data of what Americans eat and what kind of diseases they get because she'd been doing these surveys for many years um, but she didn't have any data on long-term vitamin users so she jumped at the chance to have Shackley people who had been using the products I think it was over 20 years wasn't it Steve for there were over like 300 of yep. them and and they were in their late 50s early 60s I think the average age was in the 62 or something like that but um, it was it was amazing because uh, in every parameter that they tested, the Shackley people you know, had lower risks for heart disease and cancer and inflammation and um, uh, diabetes. It was like 73% lower incidence from the general population. And, uh, and it was just a wonderful validation of what we all have known all the time is just how well the products work, how well absorbed they are. And then Always Green, Shackley has just a wonderful reputation for their commitment to the environment. So we just wanted to review a little bit of that um, as we go into this uh, next section to uh, want to zero in specifically to show you one example of 
how particular they are at, in their choice of sweeteners for their products. But I found this chart I also wanted to share with you for those of you who are new and may not be aware of Shackley's amazing reputation. But oh, something fell off the slide here. But over here is supposed to be a picture of um, vitalized minerals that um, was the first multivitamin. Dr. Dr. Shackley was a fascinating man. One of these sessions, we're going to have to tell you a little bit about his history. But um, he was one of the the very early researchers when it came to um, understanding and discovering vitamins. In fact, he was a correspondent with Casimir Funk, which I remembered from my um, biology and chemistry days that he was the Polish chemist that was attributed with coining the term vitamins and he and Dr. Shackley were correspondents. They shared a lot of their, their work and so um, his very first product was called Vitalized Minerals. And But then in the 70s, Shackley was one of the first companies to produce a non-phosphate laundry detergent and then later their um, their dishwashing powder, they were the first one without phosphate. And even today, you got to look long and hard to find a dish powder without phosphate in it. And then they came out with this amazing skincare line. Oh my gosh, that still today is one of the best skincare lines on, on the market. It's an anti-aging line and it, it incorporates all kinds of antioxidants in it. But um, all you have to do, what I love to do when people come to Shackley meetings, I like to sit there and think, guess how old he is and guess how old she is because the proof of the pudding is when you see how beautiful uh, the skin is of people who have been using those products for a long time. Um, then a Nutriferon, an amazing product that boosts the immune system. Vivix, a resveratrol and polyphenol product that has been shown to activate longevity genes in our cells and help repair damaged cells. Vitalizer, one of the most um, popular products in the whole Shackley line, a daily strip of these six tablets that that provide over 80 essential nutrients in, a, in not only a convenient way but with an amazing delivery system so they're very well absorbed and then um, uh, Shackley Cinch which is now Shackley 180 all of that um, just just a, a, a wonderful history of a company that has really been on the cutting edge of new products all the time and continues to invest millions of dollars in research and development oh look there it just flew up there <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, and then uh, also to show you, there are over 350 quality tests that Shackley runs um, to to uh, look for pesticides and herbicides and fungicides and solvents. And the U.S. Pharmacopeia recommends in their standards 80. And so Shackley goes way beyond that to 350 looking for any of these contaminants. That's why people are assured that these products are pure. And that leads us to tonight's discussion. We want to um, tell you a little bit more about one specific part of Shackley Science, and that is uh, Shackley Sweeteners. Steve? Okay, great. Yes, I mean, this, this slide just talks about, and really this is not so much the science behind Shackley 180 smoothies, but the, the real difference compared to all of those other uh, you know, meal replacement shakes that you find in the marketplace. Number one is the leucine, so you preserve your muscle mass. Number two is the non-genetically modified soy. That's huge. But then there's natural sweeteners, and that really brings us to the stevia story. I was going to try and advance it, but I remember yours doing that now. Okay, this is, <laughs> so let's let's talk about what other people are putting in their meal replacement products. Um, you know, it, it, my, my son and I, when we did a CD a few years ago called this Pink, Blue, and Yellow, The Deadly Truth, and pink would be saccharin or sweet and low. Um, that increases the risk of bladder cancer. And, you know, that was, was taken off the market and eventually was put back on the market, and not because the science changed, but because the industry paid, paid big bucks they had Congress to legislate the removal of the warning label, get it back in the marketplace. Wow. Blue would be aspartame or NutraSweet or Equal. And um, that breaks down into chemicals that can be neurotoxic. And then there's the sucralose or Splenda. And I know so many uh, doctors will tell you, oh, that's just fine to use. I call it sucrose polyester, which kind of tells you what I think about it. 
But mm-hmm. um, you know, it, it's it does a couple of things. I mean, it destroys a healthy bacteria, decreases effectiveness of some medications, but it can also be metabolized in the body to toxic compounds. So, you know, none of these things are very good. And let's so let's keep going. Then there's a sulfame, the sweet one or sunet. Uh That's been linked to increased risk of lung and breast cancer. And that's one that actually has been shown to stimulate insulin release. So it causes hypoglycemia, which just makes you hungrier. So you eat other stuff to make up for the sugar you're not eating. Um, and then there's then now we get to the natural stuff. Stevie, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But that's a plant extract. Um, it's a long natural history of use. It's on the generally recognized safe, generally recognized as safe list. But one thing that you need to be aware of when you look at labels, there are a lot of there are a lot of products out there, food products. They'll say, oh, it's sweetened with stevia, but then you read the label and they've got stevia in there. Yes, but they also add artificial sweeteners. You've got to read the labels. Um, they're the sugar alcohols, the erythritol, sorbitol, mannitol, mannitol, mannitol. Um, those are okay. Um, they can cause diarrhea. They can interfere with the absorption of essential nutrients, but those are okay in small amounts. Most people can't tolerate large amounts of them. So um, I call it, when we talk about the artificial sweeteners, the artificial ingredients that so many of these companies are putting in their products, I call about, it's all about avoiding what I call the oops factor. What's the oops factor? Well, you know, how many times, if you think back, probably at least four or five times in our lifetime, we've been told by the FDA that a particular artificial sweetener or food additive was safe, only to be told later that, oops, and I love this picture that, that Barbara uh, put on the slide, um, you know, all wily coyote, oops, uh, we made a mistake. You know, so we thought it was safe for years, but later we found out that we've been ta- using this stuff for years and it wasn't safe. So my my take on this is there's no evidence, if you look at population as a whole, that these artificial sweeteners actually help people lose weight. You know, if you look at the evidence, it kind of looks like it's going the other way around, and yet there are risks. So why even think about it? Now, here's a great comparison that Lori Krusner put together, sent out to the field, um, and just makes the difference. So if you makes a comparison. So if you look at our you know, biggest competitors in this category, weight loss programs, Jenny Craig, Nutrisystem, Weight Watchers. Well, I wouldn't have put Subway as a big competitor, but, you know, uh, Metafast, <laughs> Vistalis. Um, and so we're the only one out there. With the extra leucine, we're the only one that's clinically shown to produce, produce, protect muscle mass. Um, we're the only one of that whole bunch that has all natural ingredients. It never uses artificial ingredients. And if you look at our cost, it's very cost competitive with the others in the marketplace. Um, and, you know, there are very few of those that have published clinical studies. Very few of them have lifestyle change program. And there's only one other I know of that has that three for free program. So mm. there really is no competition. So let's talk about Stevie. Let's hone in that a little bit. Talking about the history, you know, this is not just some Johnny come lately that we're, you know, think, well, maybe we should wait a few years to see if it's safe. It's been used for food and medicinal purposes in South America for 1,500 years uh, with no toxicity reported. Uh, Japan was the first major industrialized company to jump into it, and they really were looking at a safe alternative to artificial sweeteners. They introduced it in 1970. It's currently 40% of their sweetener market. Oh, that's a nice spelling. But uh, 40% of their sweetener market, and, you know, again, no adverse side effects. Uh, so it was stevia in this country. It was approved at first as a dietary supplement, but um, the stevia extract was approved for use in foods in 2008, um, a number of other countries in 2008 and 2009, uh, the European Union in 2010, 2011, but again, the the correspondent of the FDA in the EU in 2010 ruled that, you know, there was no evidence of toxicity. So perfectly safe, natural sweetener. It's, you know, it's about 300 times sweeter than sucrose or sugar. So that's what makes it so valuable. No toxicity, 
you know, very, very, very sweet. So it has almost no calories. So in terms of weight loss, you're reducing the calorie content. Uh, it has no effect on insulin, so you're not creating the food cravings. Uh, there are a number of studies with diabetics, and you know, it certainly helps with weight loss. And there's some evidence, although it's still early in the game, that it may be beneficial at reducing elevated blood sugar levels. So there was a, a review published in 2011 that it may be beneficial for diabetics. But you know, one of the things you have to think about is many diabetics are already using medications to lower their blood sugar levels. So if you know, when you start using something like stevia, that's going to naturally help you reduce those elevated blood sugar levels. Just keep monitoring your blood sugar levels so you can reduce your medication. Um, then hypertension, same sort of thing. There's a, the stronger, there's actually ev better evidence for hypertension that it may lower blood pressure. Well, again, only when it's elevated. If you've got normal blood pressure or low blood pressure, it doesn't seem to reduce it. And it's not a short-term thing. It, it, you see that most with long-term use. Um, you know, and there, but there are a number of things that have been suggested. These are mostly animal studies right now, so we don't know if they'll work out in humans, but right now there are a number of possible benefits. There are no downsides or toxicities, so it, it's a great choice. And so all the news is really good around stevia, and maybe we just want to mention that um, some people seem to have um, a genetic um, uh, taste reaction to stevia initially that is um, some kind of an aftertaste. Um, I don't get it. I've never, <laughs> I've never had that, but um, if if any of your if you or any of your customers do, um, it, it it appears Steve to be kind of a short lived thing. But um, Susan Knott had called me this week and she said that just by putting a little bit of frozen fruit, frozen berries in a shake, just completely remove that for her. So um, if that happens, it's not it's not an un unusual thing for you, but it, uh, hang in because it, it seems to get better. Anything else you want to say about that, Steve? Well, no, I think also another thing I've heard, I mean, if you don't happen to be someplace where you can put it in a blender and throw in some fruit, uh, some cinnamon in there, you know, things like that, uh, you know, which are very available, you can take with you to work, um, those work those work well as well. But yeah, you're right. It goes away after a while. So mm -hmm. great. Um, I haven't had any problem with it, but then Susie tells me I'm weird in lots of other ways too. <laughs> lots of other ways too. I, I just wanted to close uh, by um, every every week, we, we just need to be reminded of the wonderful stories that really really change people's health and changes their life in, in so many ways. And I wanted to um, put Merle Gernon's story in here uh, because, Gary, I love the story that you told me about Merle Gernon. She, she is one of the, one of the things that, that that we we know about the Shackley 180 is you know people have before pictures and they have after pictures and but in the case of Merle she has a happily ever after after picture because she has kept that weight off for two and a half years 85 pounds 67 inches from a size 24 to a size 10 and Gary are, are you on do you remember what you told me when uh, you found yeah. out that you, it's, well this <laughs> uh, this was a, about a year a little over a year ago. I was talking with her on the phone because she's a first level sales leader of ours, has been for 30 years. Neat lady. She's from South Africa. She's got a wonderful accent. But um, I was talking to her and she was telling, I was asking her about, you know, I knew she was on a diet. I said, well, how's it going? She said, oh, I've, you know, I've lost, you know, about 80 some pounds. And I said, gee, send me a picture. I'd like to, you know, I'd like to see a picture of you. You know, she, okay. I, you know, she was going to do that. And, uh, uh, you know, we had a few more th comments to make, and then we hung up. And then I, I saw I got a message from her, and she, she sent a picture. And I thought, gee, why did she send me a picture of someone else? And I, I emailed her, and I said, Merle, no, send me a picture of you, not of someone else. I I, I did not recognize her. It was just it was it was it wasn't a, it was not a before and after. It was just of this beautiful lady. Oh, and I thought, gosh. And it, was, it just. Fact, and you know, was, we we, we had a, Merle came on as a as a guest on our Tuesday morning training uh, webinars, and she shared um, how how her life was diminished 
by carrying around that extra weight and and mm -hmm. and and how it affected all those wonderful moments of life that you have with your with your children and your grandchildren and um, there was another woman who told us about how she couldn't she would go to the zoo with her kids because it was so hard to even walk around and at any rate I, I she she just touched us so and 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 she had such great ideas for us but anyway I, I just wanted to put her picture in there because um, that's that's what this pro program is doing for everybody and and for for you know, Barbara, folks, you're doing too many stories. We we I'm just going to take we'll run a little bit long here, but just want to talk about Karen Hanrahan's story. Yeah. You know, uh, she, I talked with her the other day. She really touched me. That this is the perfect after after story. She was on the equivalent of the 180 turnaround program, lost 56 pounds in her first year, and then went on the equivalent of the lean and healthy. Um, and she said she'd lost one or two dress sizes every year since. And now her total weight loss six years later is 100 pounds. I mean, if that's not an after-after -after story, I don't know what is. I know. And, that, and there is the Lean and Healthy program right there. So for people who um, have more than 20 pounds to lose, that turnaround kit is wonderful. It's two meal replacements a day, some of the bars, some of the smoothies we just told you about, the metabolic boost the tea uh, and then when folks are just wanting to maintain their weight uh, to keep it off they can go to that wonderful vitalizer we mentioned earlier and have one shake a day for their breakfast and uh, and it, it we just have so much evidence of folks who um, it's just become a part of their daily routine Karen Karen said it's my signature smoothie she said she makes with coffee latte and she doctors it up with cinnamon and I don't know what else she does, but she loves it and uh, and every year she has just continued to lose and um, and and never gain it back how wonderful for all of them so um, with that Gary I think we'll turn it back over to you okay thanks uh, terrific information uh, some of some people want to know about your slides are you recording this and it'll be on uh, Bob's files? sure sure okay mm -hmm. that's probably the thing you get it is Bob's what files or is that what he calls uh, it .net. Mm -hmm. Bobsfiles.net. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, just a couple questions because I'm going to have to. I've got another call coming here in about eight minutes. Uh, how many mgs? What's mgs? And milligrams. Milligrams mm -hmm. uh, of caffeine in each uh, serving of the energizing tea. Do you know that? It's half. I, it's about half of what a cup of coffee is. So what does it see? About seventy milligrams. Well, that, would about, that would be about uh, forty-five to sixty, somewhere in that range. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Another question. What effect does a metabolic um, boost have if you're on a blood thinner for atrial uh, atrial fibrillation? None that you I know, Anytime see. you're on medications like that, it is good to check with your pharmacist or your physician. Yeah. Um, I don't know of any interactions that, uh, of that sort, but it's always good to check with your physician or pharmacist. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it should be fine. Someone's asking for a certain slide, but uh, we just don't have time for that. I'm sorry to say that. Cinnamon, uh, this is from Richard. Cinnamon, cinnamon also helps dramatically on um, on the flavor. Uh, okay. Oh, stevia aftertaste, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Yeah. And okay. cinnamon's great, both in cocoa cinnamon, and in coffee latte. Just about anything. Yeah, and cinnamon is a good source of zinc too. It's like a lot. All the news is good there. I've never had a bad taste of cinnamon. <laughs> it's always good. <laughs> All right. It's, yes. it's, yeah, it's especially in my uh, former. In a self. pumpkin pie. Yes, yeah, exactly that's right. right. Got it. <laughs> anyway, okay. Thanks so much. Thanks, okay. folks, for coming on. Hey.